Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesigningtechtips.com. We got a great one for you today and this is a question that comes up a lot of the time. We've got a nice page here with a bit of info on there, but it's got a nice image in the background. We've got the default header up here, which is all fine and everything works as it should. But sometimes when you've got a nice image like this or even a video background, you want to show it off and you want to have a transparent header. So we've done that over here. We can see a lot more of that image now. And as you can see, the header's transparent. We've got our links up there. When I roll down the page, it's going to have a solid background so that our content doesn't bleed through up there. And I've actually changed the link color there. Now this is really easy to do. No coding involved in this today. So let's get started. I'm going to go down to my dashboard. I've got it open here. Now, once at the dashboard, we need to go down to Appearance and Customize, or down to Divi and Theme Customizer. They'll both take you to the same page. And that's this page right here. Now, this is called the primary menu up here. For anybody that didn't know, this is the primary menu area, the default menu that comes with Divi when you first set it up and add your menus. Have a look at our Divi for Beginners videos if you want to learn how to set that up initially. So we're going to go in here, going to go to header and navigation. And here's our primary menu bar. If I click on it, it's going to take us here. If we roll down, we've got background color right here. Now it doesn't matter what color you've got on there, if you just click on it, Take this little checkered slider, your opacity all the way down. You've now got a transparent header. And with the default primary menu, it'll automatically scoot your content up to the top of the page there. Now, of course, we've lost our links because they were a dark color. I think I might want to swap that logo out because it doesn't look so good on the dark background there. So first things first, while we're here, let's sort our links out. Now the active link is showing the page that you're actually on. I'm going to have all mine actually white in color. So I'm just going to click on the color field there, make that white. And just above here, we've got the actual text color itself. And again, I'm going to click on that field. I'm going to get make mine white. That doesn't look quite white to me. It's not because if we look over here, we've got the opacity slider a little bit down. If you want it to be a full white, which I do, drag that all the way up. That's a nice clear white that stands out nicely on our background here. But if we roll down this site, the contents sort of going over the top of our menu. We can't really see our links very well there. And for me, that doesn't work. If you like that, that's fine. But I'd like to put a background in there when they scroll. And to do that is very easy to. If we go back with the little arrow here, what we're looking at at the top, as I said earlier, is the primary menu. When I start scrolling, it's actually a different menu. It's called a fixed navigation. If we look over here, we're still in header and navigation. We've got fixed navigation settings. So we can have a completely different set of colors for our navigation over there. It's really easy to do. So let's change our background color. I'm going to put a full black in there. Now, if I scroll down, we'll see we've got a full black color there and that content is no longer spilling over the top of our menu there or behind it even. But of course, our links are not quite the color I want them there. And you can make them white again like we did on the other one. Just for fun, I'm going to have them turn blue with this menu. So primary menu link color. Remember, we're still in the fix now. So primary menu link color. I'm going to turn those for that blue color, perhaps. And the opacity is all the way up. If I roll back up, we've got them white. And if I go down, we've got them turning that nice blue color. That works for me because we can show off our nice image up there. And when we roll down, it's not getting cluttered with information going over the top. You can still get to all the links nicely. But of course, I do want to change that logo out. I'm sure you know how to change your logo. If we go to the dashboard, down to Divi again, we'll go to theme options this time. 
right at the top under the general tab here's the logo upload your new logo i've already got one here a light version hit the setters logo button save the changes and we should be good to go go back to our customizer now it's really important when you make any changes on your customizer before you exit hit the publish button and that'll make the changes permanent for you now if we go back to this page initially it had that white nav bar at the top we've now got that nice transparent one we can see that nice image all the way through there if we roll down we've got that solid black one with a different color text on it that's a really nice little feature to employ on your site in our next video i'll show you how to do that if you want to do this with just one page you can do it in the theme builder by assigning a custom menu to any page you want and we'll cover that in the next video so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.